So this is a video that I created using pretty much just Thesea for the AI avatars and then I use Notebook LM for the audio. And now these are the tools needed to pull off your AI podcast. Number one is Notebook LM for generating scripts and audio overviews from uploaded source materials, which is free right about now, probably not for long. Synthasia is number two. You'll need that to create your AI avatars and green screen videos. Number three is Final Cut Pro or an alternative. Uh, for video editing and finalizing the podcast and number four green screen effects within Synthasia or your own editing software you can use that all right to customize the backgrounds these are all the tools you'll need to create your own AI podcast and to put the script together so here's the workflow in case you want to create your own video the first thing that I did is I went to notebook LM you can go to notebook LM Google and try it for yourself it's an awesome program so I've done some longer videos on Notebook LM. I'm going to leave the link right up here at the top of the screen. But basically, all you do is upload all of the sources for the topic that you want to learn about. So of course, a lot of these sources are articles or websites about Edmodo. Now, if I click the plus button to the left, you can see some of the different content types that you can upload. You can upload things like a PDF file or even audio. There's options to take things from your Google Drive, website links, or YouTube videos and then the ability just to simply copy and paste text in that window. So now once all of your sources are uploaded to the left, Notebook LM is then going to draw all of that information and sort it in a variety of different ways. So this part is pretty cool. If you select the notebook guide, you can see some of the different content that it can create right over here in the middle of the screen. So some of the things that it created for me is a briefing document, which basically took all the information and synthesized it for me. There's also a study guide. And there it is, a study guide. So great for any kind of academic topic. It also gives you the option to create a timeline. This is amazing, especially for someone who might struggle with dates. It's just an amazing program. But the best thing that it does is if you click Notebook Guide, it's going to give you the ability to create an audio overview. This is essentially a podcast about the topic. You can see the one that it created right over here with six minutes and 42 seconds. It sounds awesome. Again, check out the video if you want to hear it. But if I click this option, I can select download and download the actual audio file. So from here, I am just about set. It's now time to create my avatars. So now I'm in Synthesia. I just started out with a blank project. And rather than do a lot of the elements inside Synthesia, all I did was change to a green background because I'm going to use a green screen effect. And then I just select this option that- So in case you're a note taker, these are the steps, about a couple steps to uh, creating your own AI podcast. Just gather the sources, okay? So use articles, PDFs, audio files, and website links relevant to your topic. Upload all the sources to Notebook LM. Number two, generate script and audio. After uploading your materials, use Notebook LM to create a briefing document, study guide, and most importantly, an audio overview. Download the audio file generated by Notebook LM. Number three, create your avatars in Synthasia. Open Synthasia, start a blank project, and use a green screen background. Upload the audio file. Uh, it might take around like five mm -hmm. minutes. Uh, assign AI avatars, male and female voices to different sections of the script. Generate the video of the AI avatars reading the scripts. Now, number four, edit in Final Cut Pro. Import your Synthasia videos into Final Cut Pro. Add any background visuals, text overlays, or other elements to enhance the video. Use the green screen effect to replace the background if needed. Uh, finalize by synchronizing avatars, narration, and visuals. Now, number five, export and publish. Once the editing is complete, export the video and publish it to your desired platform. That could be YouTube, Apple, whatever you're going to be putting it on says upload to upload my audio file. Now I ran into a little problem because my audio overview was about six minutes and 42 seconds and you can only upload an audio file with a max of five minutes. So I had to basically trim that file in half. But once I uploaded it, you'll notice that it this one now says audio file. So I cut it to four minutes and it sounds a little bit like All this. Right. 
diving back into school today. Okay, kind of similar. And then all I did is just duplicated this slide, switched my avatar now to the female voice, which is going to be the female voice on Notebook LM. And then I did the same thing. So I essentially have two scenes with the same exact audio track. And this time, it's not just a hack. It's about everything Edmodo was doing with our data. Right. That's all about kids' data online, especially yeah. under 13, right? Exactly. And now I'm going to fix this when I go back and edit, but this is one of the things that you have to do based on the limitations. So after I was finished, I just selected generate and then I was able to download a video of this. Now, I also created a separate video of just our male actor and our female actor not talking at all because there's scenes where I want to use both of them on camera. And like I said, they read the entire narration and I don't want to include the woman reading the male part. So you can see, and for this track, he says, hi there. And then Hi he there. just basically waits 30 seconds of doing nothing. And I did use this video in parts, which I can show you in a second. Now, the last step for me was to take the video and put it in Final Cut to go and edit this all together. Now, this is just what I use. You can probably use a number of different editing programs. So I just want to start off by showing you one thing. These are just those individual videos that I showed you a second ago. Here's the female part and here is the male part. And you can see just any of the elements that I found I put here as well as this animated background. But what I do want to show you is remember just a second ago, I showed you just the still motion. So here's the first clip where we start off with our male host talking. I, I, diving back into school today. Twist. Edmodo. So what you see is our male is talking. I created that second video of just our male and female host just sort of looking on camera, not talking, but at least that gives that an element of realism and I can show both of them on the screen at the same time rather than just one at a time, which I do later. So how the rest of the video kind of unfolds, you can see some more visuals. Here is our female speaker. Anytime I have visuals, I just kind of put them over the screen or on the side, lots of different ways to do this. So that's basically what I did. Now, if you watch the video, sometimes you'll see the male actor, sometimes you'll see a full screen of just one of the visuals, and then sometimes you'll see one of the actors, like this one, with uh, content over their shoulder, maybe like you would on a news or internet show. But that is basically it. It was just really using Notebook LM. It was using Synthesia, and it was really putting them together with an editing program. In this case, I used Final Cut, and I think the final result is pretty cool. So go ahead and check this out. You can try Notebook LM right now. Go ahead, see if you can add the audio to Synthesia, and let's see what your video will look like. Thanks for watching this video. In case you can't watch the entire video, these are the key takeaways. Number one, Notebook LM as a script and audio generator. Notebook LM can gather and synthesize information from various sources and generate scripts and audio overviews, which are essentially podcasts. Synthesia for AI avatars. You can use that to create your AI avatar uh, that will present the podcast, utilizing green screen effects and handling audio uploads for visual content content creation. Now for editing number three, uh, you can use Final Cut Pro. So after creating the audio and video with Notebook LM and Synthesia, Final Cut Pro, you can use that to polish it off. Uh, number four, combining multiple scenes by using AI generated avatars with the synchronized audio and utilizing both male and female avatars for different parts. A more dynamic and engaging presentation is created. Now, number five, limitation of tools. When working with Synthesia, audio files are limited to about um, five minutes in length, so longer files must be split and managed accordingly during production.